Welcome once again to my series on iMovie 09. This is the episode where we're going to talk about titles, transitions, and maps. Oh my, so much fun. Okay, we got a video down here. Just been goofing off a little bit. Still have the same video we've been playing around with all the others. And to add a title, well, it's one of these buttons right over here. Right over here to the right, the one that has a T, that's the one for title. It's really simple. They give you lots of themes here. You can kind of uh, <coughs> click on it and drag it wherever you want, and you add it in. And right there you see the text. You can come over there, you just change the text. You highlight, you type in uh, my group, ah, if I can type. You have to be able to type, that is a, a requirement. <laughs> and uh, by Dealey Beard. Okay, Ooh, hit delete. So there we go. And so now I have that little title effect. And it's over top of my video, which is kind of nice. Now, for some reason, I don't like that particular one that I've got. I can change it simple enough just by double clicking on it. it pulls this up, and I can do adjust my fade in and fade out. And I can click on the ti this title effect button. And I can choose lens flare, or I can choose whichever one I got. I just wave my mouse over, and it shows me over here what it's going to look like as soon as I, as soon as I give it a shot. Uh, this is like far, far away in a galaxy, uh, little clouds. So lower thirds, if you want to add a lower third, that's how you can do that and change those. Okay. Now I can also drag one over, like right here in between a clip. Instead of on top of one, if you drag it in between, it'll prompt you for what background do you want. And this is where you can choose a starry background like I did, or you can choose one of these curtain backgrounds. And this one's actually animated. You see how I slide my mouse across this? How it's changing up here? Watch. In fact, imagine doing this one. Let's choose the underwater one. Then we put up here, we type in Finding Nemo down here. Pixar. <laughs> okay. So there we go. We got that uh, little title right there. And it created the background for me. And let me see. And see how it's got the animated background? It's not just a black background or a solid color. It's got some nice features in that. And obviously, anytime you want to change something, you can change it. Um, and you can double click on it and, and, and make changes to it there if you so desire. Another common thing you'll do is you'll have it the, underneath someone, you'll have a lower third stating their name and title. That's what this is. That's what lower third is. And it gives you some different ones in here that you can try to choose from. There's this gradient, white, soft bar white, which is nice. This paper one's kind of nice. Let's take that one and drag that one over top of this guy. And then you just type in your text right there that you want, and you can say David Miller, and then you put in his title down here, Head of Mars Terraforming. If anybody knows who this guy is, don't tell him I've, I've given him a new name and, and, and a new title. I just made that up out of the blue. But you see how you could do that? And so now it's going to look really fancy when this pops up, it fades in. That was a really short clip, so it looked kind of bad, but that's how you can do that. All right, that's for the title. Now, transitions. You may want to transition in between your clips. Let me go ahead and click that, delete that bit. So for transitions, that's this other button. Doo -doo -doo, there we go. And there's that cross dissolve, and it kind of, you just wave your mouse over it, and it kind of shows you an example of what that one does. Let's click the whole clip. Let me get a real clip down here that we can actually do a transition with and say uh, replace. All right, now we should get a good transition. Let's see how this one looks. There we go. Now we have a good effect. You got to make sure you have enough clip for the transition. If your clips are too short, the transition is longer, it's going to look kind of bad. So that's the way you would fix that. Now, some of the other transitions that they do have is if you click on set theme. Remember we didn't set a theme before. You click on that and you choose one. Like let's say photo album and say okay and undo the automatically add transitions and titles because you can still manually do this and say okay. It'll pop up four additional transitions that you can use. Let me show you how this works. Here's the photo album one. Let's drag this in as a transition between our first clip and our second clip. By default, here's what we get.
and I had a really sh short clip. Let me delete that. I need clips that are a little bit longer in order for me to apply this effect and replace. There we go. So now this should look a little bit better. There we go. And what you got there was that sort of floating out like I did in my previous movie demo uh, where it's like you have a photo album. But you can change these. You click on this and it shows you the points up here for all of these that looks like a photo album. And you can drag them and change them. Like I want number two to be over here. And I want number, or actually one went there, it doesn't matter. Two we'll put over here. Uh, there we go. And number four I'll put over here on this Google launch pad. And now I have a nice little collection from different clips that I may want to use. I could even slide this one over if I wanted and get a little bit different shot. So now I come over here and I play. This is what I get. Water at the planet. You may say that went a little bit too slow. You can, you can click on this hit the I button, the inspector button, and two seconds is not long enough to really see that photo album. So I'm going to make this a, a, a good six second clip to really emphasize what I've got. Click done. Here we go. There we go. Now you're getting a real good view. It's not going too fast. And it pops right into that other clip. Very classy. And if you want to make it even a little classier, you come back over to that audio thing we talked about. And you add a little bit of uh, a little bit of music over top of this tr bit, and you got the little bit of music. And you can again slide that over just for the transition. Let's see what we get. And that clip is a little too long for what we were doing. But this would be a situation where we can just slide it over and then we can click on this one and go to the audio, uh, the, double click on it, get to the audio and say duck the other clips. Now let's see how that sounds now. So the music dimmed down while the guy's talking, so he, you can still hear what the guy's saying. Then the music fades out. So it's a nicer, smoother transition. Mars. Let me close that out. So you see how you can take these tools, you play with them. You've got to be a little smart in how you're doing them. Just understanding the basic tools isn't enough. You've got to experiment and try out different things. If there's something you think, you know, if you watch something on TV and say, how did they do that? Now you have an idea of how. It's how they can lower, easily lower the volume of a clip. This is how they can easily add audio to a transition, how to create some fancy looking little transitions. Easy way to do it. One last feature I want to show you and that is the maps feature.